continue to worship here in just a minute. Many of us are here right now and you're feeling it's really hard for you to worship. You're not in the right state of your mind. You're like, oh man, these demons are disturbing me right now. I want to let you know that worship is the first step in your act of spiritual warfare. I want to read two chapters for you right now. Second, Corinthians, Second Chronicles chapter 20 verse 22. The people of Israel was going out and God was leading them. This is what it says. As soon as they began singing, the Lord confused the enemy camp. There is power in your worship. In the book of Acts chapter 16, Paul and Silas was in the middle of a prison. Nothing suggested, oh, why in the world should we be worshiping right now? Why should I be worshiping in the prison? It says, but at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. They had been unjustly treated. They had experienced a lot of problems. Maybe you can identify with them. They had an encounter with an evil spirit. If you read from verse 16, there was a woman with the spirit of divination. They had an encounter with the witchcraft spirit. And after that problems started arising. Maybe that's the same for you. It says here, verse 20, and they brought them to the magistrates and said, these men being Jews exceedingly trouble our city and they teach customs which are not lawful to us being Romans to receive or observe. Five things the devil did to Paul and Silas to try to stop them from accomplishing the purpose that God had for them. Number one, then the multitude rose up together against them. Maybe that is you today. You have experienced rejection big time. Family has turned against you. Friends have turned against you. People turn against you and you do not even know why. Number two, and the magistrates tore off their clothes. The devil wants to strip you of your identity. Maybe you're here today and you barely remember who you once were. Oh man, I've gone through so much. I don't even know who I am. Am I actually happy now? I don't even know who I am anymore. The devil wants to strip us of our identity. Number three, and commanded them to be beaten with rods. The third thing the devil tries to do is to break your will by torturing you. Many of us are here today, you have experienced emotional beating. Maybe even verbal or physical beating. Where the devil has been using people in your life to break you down. Growing up as a Christian, you turned away because you've been broken down over time. That is how the devil works. The fourth thing that they did to Paul and Silas. They threw them into prison. Prison is a place of isolation. Nobody hears you. Nobody understands you. Nobody gets what you've been through. Maybe that is you today and you feel like you have experienced a prison condition. Not just physical prison, emotional prison, spiritual prison. You cannot break out of it. And the fifth thing that they did was they commanded a jailer to keep them securely. That jailer today, he's gonna get kicked out of that position and you're gonna walk out of that prison cell. The jailer that has been keeping you in that prison, his time is up. So they were waging warfare. They were worshiping in the middle of their struggles. In their pain, they raised their voices and they raised their hands and they were worshiping. And then happened verse 26. I want to tell you today is your verse 26. Today is verse 26 that changes it all. And it starts with one word. It says, suddenly 
there was a great earthquake and the foundations of the prison shook and the prison doors opened my God is the God of suddenly suddenly he comes to set you free suddenly he comes to set you free suddenly let's wage war right now worship him in the middle of your pain worship him right now you to join me in prayer now there's two types of prayer there is intercessory prayer you pray to God for people we're not doing intercession here today this is spiritual warfare Jesus didn't pray to God to curse the fig tree he spoke directly to it Jesus didn't pray to God to resurrect Lazarus he spoke directly to him Jesus didn't pray to God to heal the sick. He spoke directly to it. Jesus Christ didn't pray to God to cast the demon out. He spoke directly to it. Are you with me right now? Are you ready to engage in warfare? The time is now. Your freedom is today. This is the day of your freedom. This is the moment right here. Right now, this is it. This is it right here. Join me right now. Join me right now. We're gonna pray against the foundations of that prison right now. Say this pray with me right now. Say in the name of Jesus. 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 Every foundation. Every foundation. To my prison cell. To my prison Emotional prison cell. Emotional prison cell. Spiritual prison cell. Spiritual prison cell. That foundation. That foundation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come down. 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 I break you in the name of I Jesus. Break you in the name of Jesus. Begin to break that right now. The foundation to your prison cell. Speak directly to it and command it to come down. In Jesus' mighty name. In the name. name of Jesus, we break every foundation of our life, every stronghold that's been built right now. We break you down in Jesus' mighty name. Every emotional foundation, every spiritual foundation, every physical foundation, Jesus' mighty name. We break your power. We break your grip over our lives, over our family, over our health, over our marriage, over our ministry, over our destiny in Jesus' mighty name. Be broken in Jesus' name. We cast you down in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're not one praying. We're going to continue to come against those demonic foundations of your prison. Right now, I want you to say with me, say, every foundation, every foundation. to my prison cell, my prison cell. In, my health, in my health, be destroyed, be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. be destroyed to every foundation, to my prison cell, to my prison cell, in my finances, in my finances. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Every 
every foundation. Every foundation. To my prison cell. To my prison cell. In my relationships. In my relationship. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. In Jesus mighty in name. Jesus mighty name. Come on begin to destroy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Arm yourself with the name of Jesus and begin to come against every foundation in your life. Every prison cell that be holding you captive. Whether it's your own finances, whether it's in your health, whether it's in your relationship, whether it's your dreams. Right now begin to destroy that foundation in Jesus name. Yes, we come before you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that every single stronghold will break in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every single stronghold of financial barriers will break in Jesus' mighty name. Every single stronghold of broken relationships will break in the mighty name of Jesus. That rejection, we speak to you right now in Jesus' name. Be broken in Jesus' mighty name. All that infirmity be broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because we decree and declare that by His stripes we are healed. And whom the Son sets free is free indeed. In Jesus' mighty name. Romans 16, 20 says, The God of peace will crush Satan under your feet surely. How many of you can believe that right now? That the God of peace is in this place and He's going to break every wall. Every chain in your life will be broken under your feet in Jesus' name. I want you to say after me, say every chain. Every chain. Say every chain. Every chain. Binding my life. Binding my marriage, binding my, my health, binding my, my destiny, binding my, destiny. Binding my children, binding my in, children. Jesus in Jesus' name, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. chain of suicide, chain of suicide. Be, broken. be broken, chain of sickness, chain of sickness. Be, broken. be broken, chain of poverty, chain of poverty. Be, broken. be broken, chain of Chain of curse. Be broken. Be broken. Come on, say it. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we break every demonic chain. We break every chain of witchcraft in this place right now. Be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Every chain that binds our mind, be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. We speak against every demonic chain. Every generational chain right now will disarm you. We break you in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare freedom in this place in Jesus' name.